you have heard me talk about bivocational pastors and co-vocational pastors. You know where I stand on that. I think that that is pretty much the future of most churches, uh, particularly in America, but really around the world. In fact, it's more true around the world than it is in the wealthy nation of America. But I, I want to talk about why bi bivocational pastor training should be a priority for denominations. We have a lot of non-denominational churches. I wrote an article back in December about non, the growth of non-denominational churches, and you can you can check it out by going back to the blogs that I have written. But um, I, I just I just want to talk about why denominations should be considering training by vocational pastors. That's the topic we'll talk about in this ten-minute nugget called the Church Answers Podcast. Why by vocational pastor training should be a priority. Or denominations. First of all, let me say that when I'm talking about bivocational, I am inclusive of co-vocational. There's a subtle difference between the two, and it's not big enough to make it a where I have to I have to say bivocational, co-vocational every time. The one word is long enough. Bivocational typically means a pastor is not compensated in full-time pay because the church cannot afford it. Okay, very simple. The pastor is not compensated in full-time pay because the church can't afford it. There's a subtle difference between that and a co-vocational pastor. A co-vocational pastor has volitionally said, I want to keep one foot in the marketplace, secular job, while I am pastoring a church. It may not be a financial decision. It may be a sense of calling, and that's why that pastor is co-vocational. But for simplicity, we're going to call them bi-vocational pastors. Now, here's the reality. Most denominations, and I can speak for a lot of them because I interact with the leadership of a lot of them. Most denominations are not preparing for this new reality quickly enough. We need a greater emphasis on denominations across the board in bivocational and co-vocational pastors, and we need it quickly because we already are experiencing a shortage of pastors. It is going to become more acute. And though we want as many as possible to go to seminaries and get their master of divinity or their master of arts, maybe their D men or their PhD, that's great. But that is not going to take care of the supply need for pastors. More and more churches will not be able to afford full-time pastors. More and more churches will have to raise people up from within because they cannot find pastors. There is already an acute shortage of pastors. So what do we need to know about this? Number one, we're running out of pastors. It's already happened. I don't know what the vacancy rate of churches is, but I look over denominational data. It may be a district or association, whatever the right nomenclature is for a particular denomination. And I'll look and see where the pastor is or be listed. And typically, this is just me looking anecdotally, but typically about one out of three are vacant. And I've seen some that have been vacant for two and three years. We're running out of pastors. And if we are going to have churches that have the pastoral ministry, in effect, we've got to be wide open to training by vocational pastors. And that means we can't do it the way that we have always done it. Most past, many pastors, are probably already bivocational, even though they're not called that. And what I mean by that, their pay has gotten so low as churches have declined, including the budget, that the pastor's pay has either not been increased or it has sometimes been decreased, that effectively they've had to go get another job, sometimes called a side gig. They may not even say much about it, but many pastors cannot afford to support their family families. So they are getting side gigs or other jobs. And in effect, they're already bivocational, even though they don't call it that. Now, what does this mean? What are the implications? It means that we have to have an alternative way of training pastors. It needs to be condensed. Uh, it does not need to be expensive. It needs to be affordable. It needs to be accessible. Uh, most of it probably is going to be digital or internet based. You know, there's a lot of evil that comes out of the internet, but there's a lot of good as well. Now I will tell you, we have two ways that we are helping in this at church answers. And I would love for your church or your denomination to look at these. One of them is, is, is 
certification in bivocational ministry, the bivocational pastor certification. So that certification is something that can be done in just a few months. It covers the essence of what it means, mainly from a practical point of view, to be a bivocational pastor. And we, we call it bivocovo certification, bivocational, covocational certification, but that's available, highly affordable. And that certification is available right now. Another thing we've done is we've built an, an, an alternative educational institution called Church Answers University. Love what we're doing there. We don't have degrees, but we have certifications. And the advantage of a certification is it can be done quicker. It can certainly be done more affordable. And it can be done in such a way that you can start raising up people in your churches to be taken on the roles of pastor and other positions within your church. So I encourage you to check out both the bivocational, co-vocational certification and Church Answers University. It's churchanswers.university, and we'll put in the link to the certification for Bivo Covo. Which one is best? Uh, it depends on what you want. If you want more of a practical emphasis, the Bivo Covo certification. But if you want something that is more like a Bible college or seminary base, but quicker, easier, and more affordable, then I would go with Church Answers University. I'll say this, Church Answers University is one of the fastest growing things that we have ever, ever seen because it's hitting the need of churches and it's fulfilling a great need. So what's another reason that we're going to see more and more bivocational, co-vocational pastors? Well, we, we, we've mentioned we're running out of pastors, so we're going to have to find a way to replace them. Uh, we've mentioned that probably many pastors are already bivocational in compensation. Uh, we've mentioned that alternative training centers are beginning to start, like Church Answers University, churchanswers.university. Finally, I want to talk about the multi-site revolution. Multi-site means a church has more than one location. It could be a different campus. It could be a different venue in the same campus. But the point is they have more than one site. Uh, I'm thinking about my son's church. They actually have two physical campuses. In, his, in, in, in the original campus, they have three English services and one Spanish service. So they have four. In the site, which was a church that was declining that they brought into their family, they adopted them. They have one English service and they have one Spanish service. So that that is that is a church that at one point was one service and now it's counting them up seven different services because they have two campuses. Well, Sam, my son, cannot be at both of them because the worship service is at the same time. He does not video cast himself. So they have their own pastor. As a matter of fact, they have their own Spanish pastor and they have their own English pastor at the other site, just like they do at the original site. Well, many of these who are going to be site pastors as the multi-site movement continues to grow, many of these do not have formal theological training. And something like Church Answers University is great for them because they are able to get the training that is affordable, accessible, and attainable. So we're seeing a great movement take place. I'm pleading with denominational leaders to move quickly on this. The, the time is just right around the corner that you're going to have a very big shortage of pastors and other staff as well. Consider the training for bivocational that actually meets the need of who they are and where they are. Hey, if you want to talk to me, just reach out to me. You can go to info at Church Answers and my team will connect you with me and uh, we can talk about Church Answers University for your denomination, your group, your network, whatever it may be. Love to talk to you about it. It's a great need. Let's work together for the sake of the gospel. And thank you, the listener and viewer, for being with us at the Church Answers Podcast.